Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Painting with Jeffrey. Still quarantine. We're still having fun with this quarantine thing, which means as an essential worker, I still actually work. And then in my off time when I'm not working, I take a little bit of time to come and do some, some uh, painting with all of you. So today I'm going to do something a little different. As you see, there's no canvas behind me, just this cross cut saw. Just kind of fun. Now this is a commission piece somebody asked for me to do and they want a beautiful landscape, something that I've been working on, that I've been showing. They're really impressed. They'd love for me to just do whatever I wanted, which of course is no pressure at all. Truth is, I'm just going to have a lot of fun with it and I hope that they enjoy it. Either way, I'd like you guys to join me. I'm not going to do so much of the learning today. What I'm going to do is instead is I'm going to have a time lapse video and we'll just see the result when I'm done. But I will go over some of the colors so that you know what I'm working with. And I'm going to go over the brushes and the my little knife that I like to use. So it's to start with my very dirty, ugly looking palette, I have my titanium white. And then right over here I have phthalo blue. And then right here I have my ivory black. My, uh, I believe it's burnt, nope, sorry, raw umber, crimson red. I have a bright red I may or may not use, it's just left from the last time. And then right here is I have my sap green, a um, little bit of that sap green. I love that stuff. We're going to do a lot of trees, a lot of uh, pine trees in our painting today. And then of course I have lemon yellow and then I have my yellow ochre. And I'm going to be using all of these colors and working through it. Now I am using this knife here, my favorite knife to use because of the two edges on it. And I've gotten comfortable with it over the years, but you can use whatever you want. I'm going to be using this angle brush here. It's about three quarter inch and it's a nice angle, but it has a nice sharp point. It makes for really, really good trees, really good trees, uh, especially ones in the distance when you're working through them. And then of course my trusty little two inch, it's, it's literally just a house painting brush with very soft but firm bristles. And it makes really good for coloring in your uh, shading in and, and blending out your sky and your clouds, things like that. And that's why I really like to use these different types of paintbrushes. And of course, I do believe it's a number three, but it's a fan brush, which is really, really comes in handy when you're trying to do some, some pine trees and you, and you do that little zigzag all the way down, you get the, the nice evergreens in the painting. So anyway, without further ado, I'm not going to distract you much longer. I'm going to get started on this beautiful masterpiece. And when it's done, I'll let them know and it'll take a few days to dry. Um, I will be using my paint thinner. I have my little beater bar and box and everything still set up. So I really hope you enjoy this one today and we'll show you at the very end and I'll give you a little tour of what I've went for an adventure on. Until then, enjoy the show. Step in the light to see. It's hard, but I'm moving on, cause I'm on my road home. And this road's got nothing on me. And this road, where I gotta be, yeah, this road, it's got nothing on me. Winds have won and the trees Lighting's have all off. fallen. With every breath you take in, there's one more taking out. This road's this got nothing on me. This road oh my was a lot of fun to do. Very interesting to do. Everyone, that was the little video. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. I just wanted to mention a couple of the little challenges. I think the biggest thing was that, number one, it was steel, which is very different than a canvas. It doesn't give at all. Um, very interesting to work with, but also 
it's this big. It's, it's really only six inches at the most. And I've had to work with a very narrow and long, well, shallow and long, I don't care. It doesn't matter, but I just, it was a very interesting challenge. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope that they really do enjoy it because it was just such an exciting challenge. Uh, I used a lot of the same techniques as I normally do. And I really try to capture our region where we live and a lot of the colors that come with that. And it's been an adventure, honestly. And I hope that you really enjoyed yourselves. I want every one of you to try something different. Try painting on something else. Um, basically, I want you to have fun with it. You know, let's have a little fun painting. All right? Take care. Until next time.